Hey guys, Joe Tiny here at Infinity of Kirkland on a gorgeous day here in Kirkland, Washington, just outside of Seattle. And we're going over a car we've enjoyed here for the past couple of months. It's a 2013 supercharged Range Rover. And uh, it's one of the cars that make you really appreciate what it is that we do for a living. When we sell cars, we always uh, are around something that's uh, new or cutting edge or even nostalgic to the point of being one of a kind. And whenever you get around a car that you just know that nobody else has, it's a special thrill driving it around, being seen in it, trying to learn what it is that makes it so uh, uh, highly thought of in consumers' eyes. And Range Rovers throughout the years, I grew up in the, in the car business in the late 80s and early 90s. And so uh, Range Rovers back then were considered, although they were a prestige car, everybody knew they broke down a lot, they were really expensive to maintain, and so although they were luxurious to the point of being opulent, they were kind of a, a joke a little bit amongst uh, sport utilities because everybody knew, yes, maybe they could go through the savannas of Africa, but the one place they couldn't get through is the service facility at the Range Rover dealership because not only was it extremely expensive to service them, parts always took forever to get there and on and on. And so Range Rovers kind of earned some of that reputation throughout the years. But one thing they've also done throughout the years is they've improved the quality of what they make. And this 2013 supercharged Range Rover is really the pinnacle of what this brand has accomplished throughout its existence. It has 510 horsepower, 461 foot-pounds of torque, and although it's super duper heavy, it weighs 5,500 pounds, it still goes zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds, which is downright blisteringly fast. I'm gonna pop the hood on this one. Let's take a look underneath. Now this one was uh, traded in two months ago, as I said, by a uh, local basketball celebrity. It was special ordered, and that's how you get these. They're order only. They don't have these sitting around the lot at the Range Rover dealership. And uh, when we took this in, uh, and still to this day, it's uh, about a year plus wait to get one of these supercharged uh, Range Rovers if you order one. And so they bring a strong value in relationship to their MSRP even used. You can still get uh, over MSRP for a pre-owned supercharged. Again, 510 horsepower, 461 foot-pounds of torque. It's actually a fairly quiet engine, too. A lot of times uh, you have to use big exhaust pipes or what have you to accomplish big horsepower. And so the engines of high-performance cars can typically uh, be quite loud, where uh, this one isn't loud at all. And then on top of that, they actually have special glass. It's acoustically treated glass on these Range Rovers. So inside, it's uh, you'd never even know there was an outside world, to be honest with you. Taking a look around this particular vehicle, uh, clear bra was applied uh, in the front, so there's no rock chips of any kind. They do come standard with 21-inch wheels, which seems kind of uh, the opposite of what you would think for something designed to do some pretty heavy-duty off-road stuff. But they've tested these Range Rovers through everything they could possibly think of, and this is actually the right size wheel for this car. Now, this entire vehicle is almost entirely made of aluminum, yet again, it still weighs about 5,500 pounds. And it's just because it has so much stuff going on with it. It does have a wonderful, wonderful Meridian stereo system, and then that was actually upgraded. And then it has this uh, hand-stitched Oxford leather. The leather in this car is absolutely extravagant. I mean, it's really, really sumptuous leather. And then the uh, Macassar wood. And so the Macassar is actually a it's figured. And so what figured means is there's actual uh, patterns inside the wood. This one's actually polished to a very, very high shine. But it is uh, ebony, and the Macassar ebony is from Indonesia exclusively. And so, and it's a very rare wood, so uh, there's obviously a lot of sensitivity. Not everybody follows wood, but for people who follow the walnuts and the mahoganies and the ebonies of the world, they're very rare. And so you want to make sure that they come from uh, some kind of sustainable harvest, and that is the case on this wood. In fact, uh, one interesting note on these Range Rovers is that the, uh, the plastic that they use, they actually use over 75 pounds of plastic uh, building the new Range Rover. It's all recycled plastic. Passenger seat, it's actually, it's roomy in the front, it's roomy in the back. There's no third row seat, so the it's actually quite spacious in the back. And then, again, opulent to the point of being lavish. It's really incredible. And then, again, that same Macassar wood in the back, that same hand-stitched uh, Oxford leather in the back. And then it also has uh, power rear seats as well as power front seats.
power lift gate, goes without saying. And so this one actually, the, the stock stereo system, or at least the Meridian version of the stock stereo system, has uh, 19 speakers and uh, two amplifiers. This one uh, has a little additional speaker box, which I'm sure was expensive. It sounds really nice. A lot of times uh, speaker boxes can change the personality of a factory stereo system and work against it. This one sounds great. In fact, it sounds like you're uh, at the movies. You play like a, a high-end, like science fiction type of uh, disc in here, and it really does sound like you're in a movie theater it's pretty impressive if you like to just listen to music it's uh, it's fabulous passenger side looks wonderful let's jump inside and take a look that same ebonized wood on the steering and then ebony on the center console and on the doors and again figured wood just means like burled wood you know there's a pattern inside of there the, uh, the you'll see lines or patterns or what have you. This one's polished almost like a grand piano, so it's uh, almost like not figured wood, but the uh, it is still figured wood. They call it. The gauge is uh, completely different than what you're seeing from other brands. There's it's actually just a uh, a cartoon image. There are no uh, actual dials on here. You're just looking at a television monitor, and then you have an eight-inch monitor here for the uh, stereo system, the navigation. And it's all pretty intuitive. You just push the nav button and it looks like every other navigation you've ever seen in your entire life. You go to uh, audio video and... So wake me up when it's over. When wiser and I'm older. All this time I was finding myself. This is one of those vehicles you can just sit in for about three hours and just relax and enjoy the experience panorama roof. I mean, a lot of vehicles have panorama roof. A lot of vehicles have leather. A lot of vehicles have great stereo systems. But the way this entire vehicle is put together, it's uh, a pretty marvelous vehicle. And again, the stereo system alone is uh, worth at least considering this against other uh, brands of vehicles. I mean, if you have the money to get whatever you want, you might as well enjoy what it is that you're driving. And this simply has probably the single best stereo system that you can find in a car right now. Even a high-end aftermarket setup is not going to be any nicer than this. This is really as good as it gets. The leather, again, you can buy expensive leather. It's just not going to feel as nice as this Oxford leather feels. This whole setup just feels wonderful. The steering is wonderful. The buttons, everything's intuitive. It's not like so extravagantly loaded that it has a million features that other vehicles don't have. This has five levels of uh, ride control. A lot of people are doing these adjustable ride controls. The general setting uh, in automatic, you're probably going to leave it in there like 100% of the time. It has a, a unique setting for grass, gravel, or snow, and uh, it also has settings for going through ruts, it has settings for going over sand, it has settings for crawling over rocks, and that's what this is designed for. It's actually designed for crawling over rocks, and so this isn't just some garage queen that looks nice and has a big motor. This is the real deal, and so it's set up to handle just about everything you can possibly throw at it. So for people who like to ski or like to live a little bit more adventurous lifestyle, maybe you have a cabin out in the lake somewhere and you want something that, hey, this is the one season we had that storm that we'll never forget and we had to go down that one scary road. This is the one vehicle you want to go down that scary road in. It is simply the most capable, the nicest sport utility that is sold in the world, period. It is beautiful. It drives magnificently well. This particular car has great colors, a great history. A local celebrity a basketball superstar traded in here at Infinity of Kirkland. But it's definitely, uh, if you have the means, you need to put this Range Rover on the shortest of your short lists. If you have any questions about this particular car, please don't hesitate to give me a call. My name is Joe Tunney. I'm the sales manager here at Infinity of Kirkland. You can call me anytime, 425-821-1600, or just drop me an email at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.